Well, today is such a, a nice day outside and I hear there's some sun activity on the sun at the moment, so I thought I would crack open my old solar scope. Now what I've got here is a hydrogen alpha filter for double stacking. That just gives you finer details of the sun. You can see some prominences and things like that, things shooting out. Then I've got my solar scope in here. Various filters and lenses and things. Um, very important, I've got my Barlow adapter. It's cheapy off of eBay, and it's $12 or something, because I'm gonna attach a camera to my scope. Uh, I can use the lenses here as well. And then what I have here is a modified Barlow. Uh, believe it or not, that's a little scoop out of baby formula. Just happens to fit and keep the dust out. Um, so what I've got is a adapter, a T2 adapter to EOS for my DSLR. And then I can put the lenses in the end of here and attach my camera. And I can have a bit of a look at my scope. Then the other thing I've got here that's a bit unusual is I've made my own sun finder just to help me find things. Uh, the sun finder on the Coronado is pretty good, but this just helps me find it a little bit better. And the first thing I realized I had to do when I first used these things was I've got to mount the Coronado onto my tripod backwards because normally with a digital DSLR you're pointing either straight ahead or down or maybe around you but of course with a solar scope you're pointing up which is completely backwards as far as a tripod goes so I mount the little quick release plate on the bottom of it backwards and then I attach all the gear and away I go normally also I have a laptop attached to this um, that way I can zoom right in and take some uh, good shots using the EOS software that combines with it. Uh, I also have a little aluminium hut to try and keep the heat out because when you're in the sun it gets quite warm. But today this is just a quick setup just to see what I can see. So the Coronado is on backwards which means of course all my controls are backwards but I can point up towards the sun now and if you have a look down here through my rangefinder if you can see that you can see that the little dot is in the middle there and then through this lens you might be able to see the Sun now the way to actually find the Sun with the sign finder is to get that dot right in the middle as you notice as I move it the dot disappears or blurs or whatever and that's how you line up to find it so now that I've found it and now they've got the lens in there and I can see it time to add the camera so I've got the Sun in the scopes view um, I had to actually align the view with just below the Sun because when you add the weight of the camera and take your hands off of it the whole scope slightly sinks back it's very hard to find it on the Coronado there are two fine-tuning um, I guess you can call them bevels or swivels uh, knobs you can turn them to try and to view different layers of the hydrogen alpha coming out of the Sun and there's a fine there's a fine tuning twisting knob at the back and a big round one around the barrel that gives you the different views at the moment I can't actually see too much going on pretty boring might try and double stack it and might try and fine tune it a bit better I've bolted on the uh, extra Coronado so it's double stacked and I've now had to add my manual piece of tin light finder. Now the reason for this is the bulk of that extra filter on the end blocks the light coming down the side of the tube, which hits the little prism, which makes the light appear on the top of the normal finder. So I've had to make my own. Now this Barlow lens, which is attached to the EOS, is special in that I've actually modified it so that it's shorter than normal and inside here is the original lens I've made that so that it can just pop inside and the Barlow lens just pops in after it and that gives me the correct focal plane on the camera here we are double stacked as you can see it gives me a lot um, more detail now I'm going to take this out and do some enhancements to it using some software and see what I can get out of this so a short little video of the Sun and we'll see what we can pop out of it I'll take some stills as well